Hey, it's your girl Basha. It's not easy keeping up with my hectic lifestyle as a wife, mother, and businesswoman. But a healthy lifestyle is a top priority. Something tells me we have the same story. Welcome to my food vlog, where I'm about to get my life together by preparing some yummy, healthy, and quick recipes for my family. Today, we're preparing Mexican wedding cookies for our desserts and roasted lamb chops. But first, I'm going to prep everything and head to the lake to have some fun with my husband and my boys. Hey guys, it's your girl Basha and I'm at the Chattahoochee River in Georgia. Today is the 4th of July and I'm supposed to be taping a food vlog, but I decided I wanted to go fishing with my with my guys. Um, it's a beautiful day out here. I can't wait to get back into the kitchen, but we're going to fish first and then I'm going to go back to my kitchen at home where we're going to do some roasted lamb and Mexican wedding cookies how about that but before that you know you don't give them some fish you teach them how to fish so we're out here just trying to get our fishing game on social distancing we have our mask we're maintaining our distance we do you like my sombrero hey hey everybody's ready to fish we got our rugs our water and our cooler and we have our nets and our bags. We're getting ready, so stay tuned. Wow, this is beautiful. So we're out here trying to get some fish going, but I don't think that the area we chose has any fish, so we may have to move to another location. But welcome to my food vlog. This is a different one. We're fishing today, and then we're going into the kitchen to cook something really, really nice. So stay tuned. So I prepped my lamb chops before we left home to allow it to marinate a bit. I use sage, rosemary, thyme, minced garlic, salt, sea salt, black pepper, rosemary powder, and of course my favorite, port wine and any star. I love to make some port wine when I'm doing roasted lamb chops. Now, the thing is, this all these ingredients used are up on my site, www.bashapowell.com. And now it's time for my Mexican wedding cookies. This recipe is super easy. And just so you know, it's also up on my blog, www.bashapower.com. I simply prep my ingredients prior to going to the lake because this dough needs to sit for at least an hour. In my case, I was having so much fun fishing. I left it for several hours wrapped in cling wrap and in the refrigerator on a tray. So by the time I came back, it was ready to go and it tastes yummy. So I add my softened butter to my confectionery sugar. I left my butter out overnight in a container to get the right consistency. It's your butter should not be melted. So for this particular dessert, you want your butter softened I use my mixer to put it all together and then I proceed to add my vanilla extract to my cream butter and sugar. 
Once I get it to that right consistency, I add my vanilla extract and then I begin to sift my flour and salt together. Now you can buy pre-sifted flour, which I do a lot, but you must add your salt and flour together and make sure that they both sift it. You then add that to your mixture as well. Once this is added, you follow up by adding your finely chopped pecans um, to your mixture. And be sure to have to set aside some extra confectionery sugar because you're going to need it at the end. So I mix this all together. And once my pecans have been added, I create, it has to be a firm but soft consistency and I create a big bowl so that I can wrap that bowl all up with my cling wrap to place in the refrigerator whilst I let it sit for at least an hour. As I said, I went fishing guys, so my dough was in the refrigerator for quite some time. And it really doesn't matter how long, at least an hour and more is what is required. So I'm back from the lake and now I'm about to roll my cookies. So I removed the cling wrap from the dough. So you, as you can see, it's really hard because I need to use a paring knife to separate pieces of dough that I'm going to use to make sure that I roll my cookies. And, and you need to try and do this as evenly as possible for even baking. I did not use all of my dough, as you would see soon so i felt that i had enough cookies wrapped on my sheet for my family and as such i was able to separate um and to reuse the extra at a later date so all i would do is put it in the refrigerator but actually in this case in the freezer and i can then tour and roll more cookies at a later date that's what i like about this so I'm rolling my cookies to ensure that they're even. The dough is no longer soft. It's firm, but breakable. And um, once everything is rolled, and be sure to leave some spaces between your cookies. Um, the key with this is making sure you don't go beyond the 15 minutes in the oven, once your oven is at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And making sure your cookies are not burnt because it burns easily because it cooks quickly at 400. Um, it's all done now. I've left my remaining dough, which I will place in the refrigerator, in the freezer for later days. And I'm putting my cookies in the oven um, very carefully, spacing them out. And 15 minutes, that's a wrap. My cookies are all done, not too brown, just right. So I'm now sprinkling some additional confectionery sugar that I had set aside for this purpose. You can roll them as well, but they're all done and trust me, they're yummy. Now it's back to my lamb chops. My oil is very hot at this point, so I added my slice of ginger, some rosemary first, and my star anise. I love to add my ginger and rosemary and even sage and my anise to my hot oil so that it flavors the oil before adding my lamb chop. So now that my lamb chop is in my roast pan, so I start off first with my stove top. And forgive me guys, I forgot to do my shot of the oven. But rest assured, this is headed to the oven once I have all sides of my lamb chops brown. Be sure to make sure that it's nice and brown, caramelized looking brown. And once it's all brown, I would set it in the oven for an additional 20 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and it's all done yeah magic abracadabra all done looking yummy you can also check my website for this for the ingredients i use to season so we're all done i'm just waiting for my tasters to enter my kitchen guys i'm so tired after fishing all day to prep this meal for my family it's crazy all done we are all super tired we had a long day we went to late we didn't catch any fish so therefore fish is not on the menu but what is on the menu is a roasted lamb in a port wine glaze blah 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 uh, i'm so tired this is, you. this is why i'm having a different glass if you know what i mean you mummies and then we're having japanese sweet potato which is very similar to our caribbean sweet potato yeah sweet potato I can't wait. We're really hungry. We haven't had lunch because we didn't catch fish. I'm looking so. forward to the, the dessert. And we're looking forward to the dessert. Thank you, husband. The Mexican wedding cookies. They call it wedding cakes. I don't know. Today, please, I apologize. So let's just try our roasted lamb, which mm -hmm. I think is yummy. I have my, my senior tasters here. Mm -hmm. My junior taster, Ross, does not like such things. Arjun is not like Japanese sweet potato, which means he may not like Caribbean sweet potato because it looks very similar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big lover of lamb, but mm -hmm. whenever my wife does lamb, it's like a proper cup. Um, the recipe, the season for this lamb is on bashapower.com. And don't forget to subscribe to your girls. Food blog. When well, you know I have several YouTube channels, Basha Star Cooking and Basha Power. But for food, it's Basha Star Cooking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I yeah. am super tired. Wasn't the really late fun, guys? Mm -hmm. We're actually going to go back tomorrow. We didn't catch any fish, as we said. And no. <laughs> none present. But in this family, we don't give up. We'll go back tomorrow to catch more fish. <laughs> <laughs> Weather permitting. Air fish. <laughs> Weather permitting. Mm. Loving cilantro. They're having rice. I'm having cauliflower rice. Mm -hmm. If I might take a little bit of And now it's time to taste the dessert. Mm -hmm. I'm not rushing anyone, but you know, we got a little up. Mm. Is it still warm? Is it still fresh? I... No, it's warm, but it's very fresh. Oh my god, let me tell you guys, it's the easiest dessert you can find. And what I did is that I didn't use the entire dough, so I froze some. So, like another time, I could make some more for them because it just takes 15 minutes in the oven at 400. But this is delightful. And you have to be careful, don't let it stay beyond that because it can get brown, and then that's not the cookie you're looking for. I finished it off with some yeah, I'm gonna have another one. confectionery sugar. Mmm. And that good. Guys, see you guys next time. I need to take a break. I need to sit and eat because it's been a long day. Going to Lake Lanier, cooking, doing everything. But we had fun. Remember to stay safe, wash your hands. You know, these are serious times. I love you guys. Don't forget to follow me on IG at Basha Power. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Very yummy. I'll have another one.